Without taking our time, I heard this message by the power of the Holy Ghost that says Jesus and Calvary. Jesus and Calvary. Or Gogota. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. As we proceed, God is going to make a name for himself. Amen. Remember that she is today being the special Easter Sunday, which we all know really what it means. And to say a few words about season, season, this season will be a breakthrough unto you. Amen. It will be a season of hope. Amen. A new season of hope. Amen. I did not hear me. A season of joy. Amen. A season of the healing. Amen. A season for prayer and sign. Amen. A season of advancement. Amen. If it's you, a bigger amen. amen. This every unto you shall be a blessing. Amen. Also, if not a fool, be rather full of blessing unto you. Amen. All the expectation, good one, will surely spring forth. Amen. If you a bigger, amen. amen. Remember today being the fourth day of this month, and we all know about fourth man. Today being fourth day and fourth moon. And we know really because I've explained it severally here about fourth man. Fourth man we are going to you everywhere you go this morning. In any fire that you find yourself, fourth man we appear. In Jesus name. Gogota or Calvary is a hill outside Jerusalem where Jesus crucified. A hill outside Jerusalem where Jesus crucified. The more we go, I'm going to interpret it more. It might not be today. The real full, full meaning of Gogota or Calvary. Listen to me. It is a great mistake. The worst mistake the devil did was to condemn Jesus. The regret of killing him. Till today, the power of darkness never forget themselves. They never forgive themselves. The reason of the act which they did by killing Jesus. I'm going to read Luke 24 and 20. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him unto the condemned to death and have crucified him. Listen and let us know or the very little interpretation of condemned. Condemned means having received a cause to be doomed. A person sentenced to death. He can call it capital punishment or destruction. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I read in Luke chapter 2 and 34. And Simon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the falling and rising again of many in Israel. For a sign who shall be spoken against. Spoken against. Hallelujah. Amen. The point I picked there, spoken against. Hallelujah. Amen. God is not author of confusion. And there's no division in him. And that's why we need to be very, very careful. I read 1 Corinthians 14 and 3. For God is not out of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. 
One of the reasons that brought him here on earth, one of the reasons, one of the reasons, there are many, but one of the reasons was to restore the lost glory. To restore the lost glory. Physically, his appearance is like a lamb, but spiritually, he is great warrior. Angel sent, angel sent, angel sent out from the throne of God. Angel sent him out from the throne of God. I mean, the devil. The angel fought and sent them out from the throne of God. But it takes only Jesus to destroy his work here on the earth. Angel cannot do it. So Jesus had to come by himself. Faith John 3 and 8. And he that committed sin is of the devil. So who can boast on here this earth and say, I never commit any sin? So this sin makes us all, all the children of this earth, the children of devil. An angel cannot solve this issue. Angel cannot redeem us. He that committed sin is of devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, let somebody help me and say purpose. Amen. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil. You see the reason of his coming. Listen, till today, Jesus hasn't stopped telling us who he is and the reason to follow him. Listen, there's a great gain in knowing him. There's a great gain in following him. He never stop of knowing him. When you know him, the next thing is to follow him. Hallelujah. Amen. When I mean following him, I mean every of his footsteps. He said, I create a way. I am the way. Hallelujah. Amen. And he never desired that anyone because remembering what he did for you. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a sin for one to save you and at the same time he said off. We all know what I want to say. John 4 and 10. Jesus answered and said unto her, This is the people who never knew. And he intended that everybody should know of who he is. John 4 and 10, Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, Jesus is the gift of God on this earth. If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that said unto thee, Give me to drink. Give me to drink. If you knowest the gift of God, if you knowest the gift of God, Hallelujah. How many of us here today on earth can boast and say, I know the gift? I know the gift that God sent or gave to me. From the day of the Adam, I mean, the day Adam fell, heaven sent for a meeting. They sent for a meeting on how to save a mankind. And it's a crucial meeting. And nobody believed that Jesus would have called himself. Hallelujah. And it came to pass that a voice from nowhere said, I'm here, send me. I want to suffer for those who are created. I want to have a pain for those that who are created. And that's why you watch everything about Jesus, you find out that he's different. Jesus is different from every other prophet. Jesus will see a leper and hold the leper, he never irritates him. A woman with this show of the blood will hold him and he never said no. Whereby the law say that any woman which is in the world bleeding can never penetrate or go anywhere the holy of is there any holy build on this earth that is greater than Jesus? But now the woman with the issue of the blood hold him. Hallelujah. For us to know what it is. And the voice came, Isaiah 6 and 8. Also, I heard a voice from the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? 
They said, I, here am I, send me. Listen to me. Jesus is a motivator. I don't know what you call him, but he's a motivator. And that's why he never give up in you. He, the voice never ends here. I'm telling you, you will make it. You will make it. You will make it. And that's the voice of Jesus. He never give up on anyone. He has a patience, a divine patience to each and every one of us. And he never care about our state today. He never care where we are before him today. Because his patience and belief and know that one day, he will surely come to yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is a motivator. First Corinthians 15 and 45. And so it is written. The first Adam was made a living soul. And the last Adam was made a quicken spirit. A quicken spirit. So he, he is, whenever you are, he's like a battery. He's like a battery whereby your phone gets in low. And once you socket it in that Holy Ghost, and the word, the battery, or the phone will come back to the normal state. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is a sharpener. If we're here to say about you, I don't know where to start. Have you ever, I believe most of all that stay here, no one that can lift his hand and say that I did not go for even primary six. In those days, I'm not talking about when we use the chalk to write. When we use the chalk and slate to write. But I'm talking about when we use pencil. I'm not talking about when we use ink. The time we use ink, we draw the ink, we write, and if you finish, we draw back again. I believe most of you here know it. Hallelujah. Amen. But we all know the power of the sharpener. If you can't go do with the pencil, sharpener must be here. And Jesus is a sharpener. Amen. A Proverbs 27 and 17 say, Iron sharpness, iron. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Jesus is a sharpener. He's the one who takes us to where we are today. Sometimes I look around and say that if it happened that it's not Jesus, who could have known us? Who could have known us? Who could have known us? There are some people that just only that name, Jesus, Jesus, and they are written like a star everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Life of Jesus be five things. Life of Jesus speaks five things. In fact, more than five things. But to mention these few five. One is a sacrifice. One is sacrifice. Two is renewal. He renews us every day and day. Devil pollute us day and day, but he continue renew us. Then three is redemption. There's no any other means of redeeming a man if it's not Jesus. Redemption. Four is what resurrection. Like a day like this. And Five is a covenant fulfillment. Covenant fulfillment. I'm going to read Matthew 27 from 22. But I said unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said unto him, Let him be crucified. Let him be crucified. And to three say, and the governor say, why? Governor say, why? What evil has he done? But they cry out the more, saying, let him be crucified. In our hearts and our mind, can we say exactly what he did? Listen to me. It's still difficult to the world to understand who Jesus is and what he's called. I can see he used this little name on him. 
Jesus can be called forgiveness. He can be called kindness. A candidate of humility. Prince of peace. Love in quantum. And patient. To mention the truth. All this character is in him. He demonstrated it without pretense. He showed all this and he never pretend on it. This who he is. Without the sacrifice, there will be nothing like salvation or righteousness. Hallelujah. He is the owner of the salvation. He is the first seed of the holy in this earth. First seed of the holy. Reading better few. Matthew 10, I read for, for it is not possible that the blood of a bull and of the goat shall take away sin. And seven said, Then said I, Lord, I come in the volume of the book, written, it's written, written of me, to do their will of God. And then said, By which will we have sanctified through the offering of the body of the Christ Jesus once 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 for all once for all it's no longer every year sacrifice it's no longer every year killing goat, killing cow no once and for all and she said this is the covenant that we make with what with them after those days say the Lord I will put my law into their hearts, and I, and in their mind will I write them. 17 says, And their sin and iniquity will be remembered no more. Hallelujah. Amen. 17 of it. And their sin and iniquity will I remember no more. Blood of Jesus. Killing all mess. All mess before we were born. All mess that our fathers, mothers. All mess that our community. All mess the chiefs. All mess around us and before our family. Blood of Jesus. Killing all. We are a covenant children through the sacrifice of his blood. Hallelujah. It was his death that gave us for the chance and the opportunity to become the sons of God. Without death, his death, you couldn't have become the one, a child of God. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 2. I'm reading from the 12. I'm going to read 12. You might read all the whole chapter. Ephesians chapter 2. Write all the whole chapter in fact. Read it all. So that you can understand fully. That at the time we are without Christ, being aliens from the world commonwealth of Israel, and a stranger from the covenant of the promise, having no hope, having no hope, and without God in the world, without God in the world, you don't have any protection, nothing. Without God in this world, and 13 say, now, but now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes we are far off and made near by the blood of Jesus. And 14 say, for he is our peace, who has made us both one, and has broken one down the middle wall, petition be between us. Hallelujah. It is said, having abolished in his flesh divinity, even the law of the commandment contained the ordinance for to make him of twin, one new man, one new man, so making peace. If I must see it more, and that he must reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross. Having slain immunity, dear God, 
Hallelujah. Amen. 17 says, And he came and preached peace to you, which we are afar off, and to them that we are near. 18 says, For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Hallelujah. By him you have Holy Ghost. 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 Now this says, Now therefore you are no more stranger and foreigner, but fellow citizen. With the saint, fellow citizen, with the world, with the saint, and of the household of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. This is a sacrifice. And the price to cross is not easy. The price to cross is not easy. I would like to talk a little about it. The price at the cross give birth to what we call forgiveness. It started with the remission of the sin. It started with the word remission of the sin. Without death, there is nothing like blood. Without death, there's nothing like blood. Our blood are washed by the reason of His blood, which is shared the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. There is one God, or what God wants us to know. That's what God wants us to know. When He talks about the power of the blood, when we talk about the power of the blood. The life of the flesh, according to the book of Leviticus, is in the blood. Leviticus, to quote, 17 and 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. Listen to me. The moment the blood was has a problem, the moment the blood has a problem, the entire body is in trouble. Oh, yes. Anytime the blood, I mean, has a problem, the entire body is in trouble. In fact, immediately blood is what out of a woman, man died. Once blood is out of you, you die. We also understand what called blood transfusion. Blood transfusion that means the transfer of the blood or product from individual to another. As somebody is losing a blood, as somebody is losing a blood, it might be accident or other means. It's recommended to go well through the transmission. Of the blood to restore him back, to restore the life back. We are then in our sin and require, and it is required to someone should do a sacrifice that the same token to be taken to us. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is where the world this started. This is where we started to know this. The power that is in the blood. This is where we started to know what the blood did. This is where we started to know the sacrifice. This is where we started to know the reason of the Calvary. This is where we started to know what really God got at all. There are many Christians today for years that never ask themselves. What the full meaning of what go go tap? What the reason of the Calvary? When we talk about cross, we talk about Calvary. There are many people who never understand it. Our text reference says something about Jesus. Our text reference says something about Jesus. And I want us to understand this. For as much that the children are partaker of the flesh and blood. Also, he is a part of the same. 
If you are partaker of the blood, you are the same as the blood that you take. Hallelujah. Amen. What the Bible is saying here is that Jesus has to come in flesh and blood and incarnation so that we can share all the problem we have talking about in human beings. He came in a human in flesh to share what we are talking about because most of the time we complain. Most of the time we complain and he can do here what he says. It's impossible. Righteousness is impossible. It's not easy. I cannot do it. It's impossible. So he had to come in the flesh to test it, to walk on it, to live on it. Do you know what it takes God? Do you know what it takes God? To spend good names in a woman's womb. Good names in a woman's womb. And he remained there so that if not tomorrow you say that you know God. And we are there for nine months. He experienced it too. He bring his same law that he can crawl the same way we do. He crawl the same way we do. He, he learned how to walk the same way we do. He learned how to call mama and papa the same way we do. Everything that happens around us now, only before, he experienced it all. Hallelujah. Amen. He experienced it all. But the best of it all is that what he did, his coming made our movement so easy. His coming made our movement so easy. It's no longer so difficult than like before. Hallelujah. Amen. His coming made every movement so easy. It's no longer that you might be chained. It's no longer that they will stone you to death. This one of the world he did. He incarnated himself and came as a human. Live before us, walk before us. Eat the same food that we eat. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lord, we give you thanks. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ancient of the day, we magnify you. The God of Israel does not like you. Hallelujah. The mighty in battle does not like you. Thank you, Jesus. The God of the hand does not like you.